Hi guys, it's Kelly and I am back in my classroom for another STEM video that's a little too big for our studio. So today was all about competitions, right? Sports competitions. And one of the ones that Joe talked about was NASCAR. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys how to make your own race car, which is actually gonna be a balloon car. Um, so if you and your friends get together and you can each make one, you can race them and see who goes the furthest. So the first thing you're going to need is you're gonna want a piece of cardboard. This is gonna be the base of your car, like the flat part. So you can choose the size. If you want to try a little bigger, a little smaller, um, might go faster, or slower, depending on the size. So this is the size I chose. I cut it out to the size I wanted it. The next thing you're going to need is you are going to need three straws. Okay. One of these I already cut down, but you can start with them full size. So you're going to need three straws all together. Um, the next thing you'll need is a balloon because it's a balloon car. You're going to need some tape and some scissors. You're also going to need something that you can use as the wheel, so something round. So I'm using these um, caps off of, I think some protein shakes or something. You can use caps off your milk bottles, but really just anything round. So if you have something else that you wanna try out, I've even seen people use like those CDs, which are like way bigger and different. So try out some different round things and see what works best for you. So you're gonna want four of them all together. I'm gonna back up a little so you can see my supplies a little bit better. Um, and then the last thing is you're gonna need some more of these wooden skewers. Now, I use these just because I have them on hand, but if you don't, you can try using something else that's long and skinny, depending on what you have in your house. So maybe you have some other little sticks, something that you can use. The only catch is it needs to be small enough to fit through your straws like so and still be able to spin so it can't be a super tight fit because the actual stick part is going to be kind of the axle of your car it's going to connect to your wheels and it's going to spin inside of the straw tube okay so make sure it can spin loosely inside of your straws so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our wheels and axles. So again, the axle is just the pole that connects the wheels. Now I did a little work ahead of time because what you have to do is your wheels or in your case, or in my case, your caps, um, you need a way to get them onto the axle. So it's probably kind of hard to see, but I put little holes inside the caps and I don't own a drill. So all I did is I poked a hole with a knife very safely. And then I used the tip of my scissors to just spin around and make it a little bit bigger. Um, if your parent has a drill, you can use that, but probably something that you're going to need some parent help with. If you're not comfortable putting holes in the caps or it's just too hard, depending on what you're using, um, you can just use glue and I would just put it straight on there and glue it on. Okay, that is possible. I have made one of these and I just used a big old dollop of hot glue on there. It's just a tiny bit less sturdy, so it's up to you what you use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one end of my axle or my skewer through the hole. And as you're making your holes, if you make holes um, or drill them, make sure that it's a tight enough fit that when you spin the axle, the wheel spins with it. If it's too loose and it just rolls around or like if it slid down my stick because it was too loose, then you know that you have too big of a hole. <laughs> so you would need to make it a little smaller, okay? Now the next thing is I'm gonna put my straw right on there. And before I do that, um, I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. The size of your straws should be just a little wider than your cardboard because the wheels are gonna go on either end. So you want it to stick out, I'd say at least about that much. Okay, so just a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be like way far out, but you don't want it like the exact same size as the cardboard because then your wheels are gonna rub up against it. So I measured already and I found that if I just cut off right where the bendy part is, it's the perfect size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you're only gonna trim down two of your straws. The last straw you're gonna want full size, at least for now, okay? So now I've got my two straws, oops, the same length, okay? So I've got my wheel and my axle. That's a little sideways. We'll see if that's a problem later. Try to straighten it out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slide my straw on the skewer because now I can decide how short to cut my skewer, my um, axle, my wooden stick. Because right now, if I keep it this size, my wheels are gonna stick way out far. So same thing, we don't want it sticking out that far. So I'm gonna slide the straw down so it just barely touches the um, wheel, the cap, and then I'm gonna cut it 
on the other side of the straw. I'm not gonna leave much room at all because I find that if you have a lot of extra room, your straw slides around and the straw is what's getting taped onto our car. So if the wheels are sliding, that's gonna make it kind of wobble when it's driving, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna trim that and I have these um, like extra sharp scissors for my toolbox. So what I do is I kind of just kind of like chomp down on the wood <laughs> with the scissors. It's not gonna cut straight through. I shouldn't have my hands so close probably. And then once I've got a good cut in there, maybe you can just snap the wood right off, okay? Um, so that's something that you might want some parent help with, but, and I just realized needed to leave a little room to go through the cap, but if I push it down this way, try that out. And then you should be able to put your other cap right on, like so. So now I've got my wheels and the straw still spins in the middle just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my other set. So whoop, it's gonna roll away. At least we know that they work well as wheels. So skewer in, straw on, my short trim straw. Trim my skewer, trim my axle. I'll make it a little longer this time so I have room to fit the wheel on. See, you're always learning things when you're an engineer. I've made this car before and it was a total failure and I learned a lot of things from it. Like I learned that hot glue is kind of harder to use, which is why I did the holes these time. <laughs> okay, and my other wheel. Awesome, perfect. Okay, now I've got both my sets of wheels ready to go. Kind of looks like I'm lifting weights here. I'm gonna just set those there. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach them to the base of our car. So this part's pretty easy. You're gonna line up your wheels across and then I'm just gonna use some tape to secure it. So make sure that you're only taping the straw so that the wheels can still spin inside. The only thing to be really careful with is to make sure that your, um, your straw, your axle is straight across your cardboard. And it's hard for me to look in the camera so I'm gonna set it down and look at myself. But you wanna make sure it's straight across because if it's like sideways, like this, which I'm sure you wouldn't do, but if you did, your car is gonna go sideways. <laughs> so you wanna make sure it's straight so that your car can go straight. So I'm just using some masking tape. And I'm gonna tape over the straw. I'll probably use two pieces just to be safe. And I'm gonna focus here, make sure it's super, super straight. My wheels are turned a little bit, but I think I should be able to straighten those out. All right, I guess I can use smaller pieces of tape. There we go. I'm just throwing stuff around here. All right, and then we're gonna do, looks pretty straight, yeah. We're gonna do the exact same thing with our other wheel and axle. So let me get another piece of tape. My tape is being silly and ripping in half for some reason, <laughs> sideways tear that bird off. So like I said, this is a really fun thing. You can see it doesn't take too many supplies. The only thing that might be a little tough to find is your um, your wheels, whatever you decide to use. So like if it's cats or something, might just take some time to collect what you wanna use over time. Most of you probably don't drink four gallons of milk every week. Maybe you do, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but if you get your supplies, you and your friends can make these. I'm gonna show you how to drive them or race them and then you guys can totally race them it's a good summer activity okay so now you've got this looks like this from the other side so you can see i've got nice um straight axles and we are good to go the last step is right now if i move this a little bit i can show you that my car will drive so i'm pushing out you can see my wheels are rolling which is perfect, okay? But I want to power it. I don't wanna just roll it, that's boring, okay? So here's where the balloon comes in. What we're gonna do is we're going to use the balloon to give it energy. So when we blow up the balloon, it's going to push its air out. So if you ever felt someone blow on you, it's kind of a force, right? So we're gonna use the air of the balloon as the power or the thrust for the car. So we're gonna put a straw right in and attach it because we're gonna use the straw each time to blow it up and also to push it. So this obviously is a really loose fit if I just put the straw in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I put it in about, I don't know, almost an inch, a little bit less, you guys see that? Um, and I'm gonna tape it. So you're not jabbing it all the way down because you're gonna need the rest of the straw to push. And I'm gonna use some duct tape just because 
it's a little stickier than masking tape and it'll make it a nice tight seal. Okay. I like masking tape because it peels back off when I mess up, but that also means it's less sticky. So sometimes duct tape is the way to go. All right. And this part doesn't have to be pretty as long as you've got a nice tight seal. So I'm pinching around the straw and all the way down. And to test if you got a tight seal, you're just going to blow through the straw and see if the balloon goes up. Here we go. <gasps> it works. I blew the air in my face. So perfect. <laughs> um, the last step is to attach your power system to your car. So that part's pretty easy. We're just going to take the straw and we're going to tape it down onto the car. What you want to do though is you want the balloon to be a little bit, I can show you here, over the cardboard. Like I don't want it up here floating because that way when the balloon's blown up, the cardboard will kind of support it and hold it up because if it's dragging down off the back, it might rub against the ground and slow down your car. So I'm going to tape the straw. I'm going to put the balloon a little over halfway on and then tape it. So here's where my masking tape comes back in because if I do it wrong, I can unpeel it and put it back on. Here we go. Perfect. And then you might notice like, depending on the length of your straw, like mine is sticking off really far. I always take too much tape. Um, that's sticking off pretty far. So I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. I'm gonna trim it right where that bendy part is. You want enough for you to get your mouth on there and be able to blow it up, okay? You don't want it right on top of the cardboard, but not too far off. Okay, so that is it. That's your balloon car and I'm going to show you how to work it. So I'll show you here and then I'll go ahead and film it on the floor to show you how far it goes. So I have a couple of tips for you and hopefully I don't have to say this, but especially right now with COVID-19, don't share balloon cars with people because you'll have to share the straw with them and we don't want that. So you're going to blow it up using this and when I'm done blowing it up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger at the end to hold the air in. If you pinch it, you can pinch it, but what happens is the more you pinch it, the more it closes up the tube, and then when the air tries to push out, it won't push as strongly, so your car won't travel that well. That's one thing I learned last time I made this. So instead of pinching, try to just push the, or try to just kind of hold the end to hold the air in. So let's blow it up. Okay, now notice I didn't blow it up as big as it can go, <laughs> okay? It could go a lot bigger. But another thing I learned is that the bigger the balloon is, the more resistance you have when the air pushes against it. So if it's too big, it can also slow it down. So you want kind of a medium size. If it's too small, there won't be enough power. If it's too big, there's too much pushing back, too much resistance. So the way you want it to go is you want the balloon to face <laughs> forward, I keep hiding behind the balloon, to face forward because the straw, when the air shoots out, should push backward because it's going to push you, well, it's hard to explain, but <laughs> the air is going to, should push out behind it, okay? So I kind of turn my desk a little bit. So let's see if this works. Ready? Uh oh, I lost a wheel. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna fix the wheel and I'm gonna put it on the ground and show you just how far it can go. But you can see the air pushed out behind it, which pushed it forward. And the wheels, since they worked pretty well, other than the one that fell off, pushed it right off the desk. Okay, so take a look at it in action on a bigger space, but good luck with your cars. And remember that we'd love to see pictures and videos of your projects at work.